So you've decided that you want to do a Google Plus Hangout. That's great. This training video will guide you through all the steps needed to get your account set up for using Google Plus Hangouts. We'll work through all the required accounts so that you can join in using Google Plus Hangouts and Hangouts on Air. Hangouts can be a secure, private, one-on-one -on -one video chat like with a lawyer or a close friend. Or Hangouts can also be video meetings with larger groups of people like your family, coworkers, classmates, students, customers, or maybe club members if you were a teacher or ran a business or a membership club. There are plenty of reasons to utilize Google Plus Hangouts. I'm sure you can come up with your own. So there are two main types of Hangouts, regular ones and Hangouts on Air. The main difference is that Hangouts on Air are automatically recorded for you on YouTube and are broadcast live to the world, while the regular Hangouts are not. They're more private and only those on the inside can view them. We're going to take a look at the current interface for all these components. However, Google is constantly changing their look, so by the time you're seeing this video, things may look a bit different. However, the main functionality should be the same, but you might want to check around on the video for notes or annotations to see if there's anything about future updates. We'll start our account setup journey as if you don't have a Gmail account, but don't worry, if you already have a Gmail account, we'll move on from that point fairly quickly. So let's take a look at all the things you'll need to do to get set up and ready to go for all kinds of Google Plus Hangouts. We've gone to Google and we've typed in Gmail, or we've gone to mail.google.com and we've come to this particular startup page for Gmail. Uh, because we don't have an account or we're assuming we don't have one, we're gonna move in the upper right corner where it says new to Gmail, click on the red button that says create an account, and it takes us to this screen. This is where we create a new Google account, is what they're calling it. It's not just Gmail, but it's all kinds of things, and we'll see about what that is in a minute. So fill in your name, choose a Gmail address. You're going to probably have to guess this a couple times. You, you may have to put a bunch of numbers after it. Hopefully it's not too hard to find what you need. Put in all the rest of the information and have fun guessing at the CAPTCHA code. And let's scroll down the page a little bit more. We get to the bottom, check these two boxes, agree to the services, terms and services, and click on where it says next step. This brings us to the place where you're ready to put in a profile picture, but we're going to hold on and doing that in just a minute and go to the next part when we're actually inside Gmail. So we're going to click where it says next step, and now we are ready to go. We're registered, it says our email address right here. We're going to click where it says continue to Gmail. Okay, so now we are currently inside Gmail. You'll see in the left corner we are looking at an email actually. We're logged in. If you look on the upper right, we'll see the name alexsmith at gmail.com. That's your user ID or your Google ID nowadays is what they call it. In the upper left corner, you'll see where it says plus you. That is one indication for us right now to know that we don't actually have a connection to Google Plus yet. So we're about to change that. So here we go. In the upper right corner, where your email or your Google ID is, you're going to click the drop-down arrow. It pops this down, gives us our full name, our username, or our email address, and a nice big blue button that says Join Google+. Plus. Go ahead and click on that, because that's what we're trying to do, is join into the Google Plus family so we can use Hangouts. Now you'll note here there's our username, with our, which is basically our email address, and then what's called a blue head. Blue head pictures are not good. You want to change that so that you don't have just a blue head. You need something that is your picture for various reasons we can go into later. So one of the very first things we'll do when we join Google Plus by creating your public profile is add in a photo. So right on the left here where I'm pointing, it says add your photo. So I'm going to click on that. That brings us to this dialog box where we can use a web camera to capture a picture, or if we have one sitting on our computer, which I'm assuming you do, we will add that in. So we're going to click where it says select a photo from your computer. And just for the sake of time, we've already done that. It's got it loaded up. There's our picture. It's not quite right. I want to focus the center on the face. So we'll slide that up a little bit and crop it in essence to be just the way we want. By the way, having a picture of your face is what Google Plus wants. It's what you want as well because it gives you special SEO value for when it comes to what's called authorship. This is telling us a warning. The photo is very small. It's not that small. Um, if anything's 250 pixels by 250, that's good enough. It wants 500 by 500 or more, but it's good enough for 250 by 250, which is what we've got. So moving on. 
down in the bottom left, it says set as profile photo. So we'll click on that. So now, blue head still up here because we have not actually set this into place. We've got it loaded, but we haven't saved it. We need to fill in the rest. Stick in your first name, your last name, choose your gender, your birth date, agree to the terms and conditions basically. And then we scroll down a little bit and we have the button that says upgrade. So we're ready to upgrade. We'll click on that. And now we're to the point where Google Plus is trying to get us to add people to our network or our circles. And you can do that by scrolling through the list and saying, I want to follow a bunch of the 11 people in this case that deal with games, if you're interested in that. I'm going to just basically say, let's just jump right in and get to the place where we can do Hangouts. So we're going to ignore this for right now and just click down where the blue button is. It says continue. Uh, there's a warning. Hey, we're going to be lonely. That's because we haven't added anyone to our circles. I'm okay with that. Ignore the default and go to continue anyway. And then the next part to finish up the registration is we need to fill in a little more data because you'll note here's the bigger picture. Underneath it, it says I work at. It doesn't say where, where I went to school or where I live. These are important factors for you to put in. Please do so. Just type in the stuff, the employer, job title, etc. Here's an example. We've got it filled in for you. We scroll down to where it says finish and click. And now we're in Google+. Plus. How do we know? Well, look in the upper left corner. We're in, the logo says Google+, Plus. the name says Plus, and your first name, Alex, in this case. And Alex Smith is over here on the right. We've got a picture, your avatar, so we're all loaded up, looking good. And then all of a sudden, this happens. Google+, Plus recognizes that we're new. And it's going to pop up and try to help us by giving us some training, some tutorials that we can follow. Great. Take your time, do that if you like, but for this training right here, we're gonna just jump right into getting ready to do Hangouts. So I'm gonna say, I'm gonna to continue to Google Plus. And here's sort of a little warning, is saying, fill in at least 10 people so that you don't, you're not so lonely. Um, I don't mind being lonely for right now. So we're just gonna move on and look at what our next options are. Down here, where I'm circling, there is a button that says, start a hangout. So we're going to click on that. It starts loading up the hangout interface, but the very first time it brings us to this. It says, hey, install the hangout plugin to get started. So we're going to click on this blue install plugin button. It gives us a little bit more details on the bottom left here of what's going to be happening. It says you'll enter the hangout as soon as the plugin is installed. So go ahead and let it, it's going to start popping up some windows. You go ahead and click OK, OK, OK. Um, here's an example where it's writing the files to the computer. Installation is now successful and we will click on the close button and bam, we are now inside the Google Plus Hangout window. That's what this logo in the upper left corner is. Uh, there's a picture of me and my dad setting this up. And so your web camera should actually be activated now and showing you your picture. So we're going to click on the join button. We get to this invitation screen where we can invite other people. So I'm going to start typing in the name of a person, click on them. It adds their what I call address chip into the invitation area. You can invite multiple people if you like. And then we will click the hangout button. So I'm doing this just so you get the experience of what it would look like inside the hangout when there's someone else there. So we'll click hangout. And the first thing you see is this. It says we're waiting for other people to join the hangout because you've sent an invitation out there. And you'll also see in the bottom a video. And this is a live video. It's a thumbnail of what's coming through your webcam. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on that thumbnail on the bottom and it brings it to the main window up here. So this is the main window of the thumbnail on the bottom. What we have done is technically called blue boxing. We have focused the main window on this particular thumbnail image, which happens to be us or me when I'm doing my sign up. Uh, but it looks like someone's now ready to join us. There she is. The person we invited is now here. We are currently blue box, so we don't see her in the main window. She sees us, but I'm going to unblue box it by clicking on the thumbnail again. And now she is in the main window and we are in her main window, as you would expect. So we're having our conversation. Now we're done with the conversation. She goes away. She closes her hangout, basically. And now we're left there with ourselves. We are blue box, so we can see us in the big window. I'm ready to leave the hangout. So we click in the upper right corner where the little hang up telephone thing is. It says exit. And now we're out of the hangout and we're back to Google+. We know that because of the name up here. 
pretty multicolored logo and the word our plus Alex, all this stuff. So basically you'll get the idea. This is what the Google Plus interface looks like. Now there's another thing we want to do with Hangouts. We just looked at a regular Hangout. We want to look at what's called a Hangout on Air. So we're going to start up another Hangout just to get all our accounts set up properly. So I'm going to click down here where it says Hangout again. We get to the Start a Hangout area. And this time I'm just basically clicking on the question mark down by Enable Hangout on Air. And it tells us this is the ability to broadcast and record our Hangouts using YouTube. So you may not have YouTube set up yet. So that's what we're going to do right now. We're setting up all the accounts so that we can do all aspects of Hangouts. So we're going to click OK, I got it. I'm going to check the box that says Enable Hangouts on Air. And the very first time you do this, it's going to tell you that you need to verify your YouTube account because it needs to basically make a secure connection, make sure you are the right person, you are you. And in order to keep everything secure, it has to do this. So we're going to need to start the verification process. But before we do that, just so that it works smoothly, I'm going to encourage you to type in the name of this particular Hangout. Now I've typed it in as my first Hangout on Air, and that's good enough for now. I'm going to start the verification process, this blue button. So I'll click on it. Now, if you'll note, it opened a new tab. Google owns YouTube. Therefore, this is another Google property. We are currently connected, as you can see in the upper left, it says plus Alex. On the right, it's got your name, it's got your avatar picture, your profile picture that you added earlier. That's one thing that it's going to share across the network. That's pretty cool. We are in YouTube and you'll note it automatically put in your email address because that's basically your Google ID. You're going to type in the password, which is the same that you use to get into Gmail, the same that you're going to use to get into Google Plus, which is the same that you're going to use to get into YouTube once you've set it up. So we're going to click sign in. It gets us to here. It says, hey, congratulations, you're now registered with YouTube. Well, we're not quite done yet because we want to do a little bit more as part of the verification process. So I'm going to leave all the stuff set and click OK. I'm ready to continue. And we're now in the verification mode. You choose the country that you're in. You enter a mobile phone number with no dashes or symbols, just the phone number straight, and click Submit. It tells you the number that it's sending a code to. And when you get the code, you enter it into this box. So here comes the code. I've entered it in. And now I click the Verify button. And now we get congratulations. Our account is now enabled for uploads longer than 15 minutes. That means it's ready to do Hangouts on Air for us. And you'll note there's some other things you can do. You're in YouTube. You can upload. You can record straight from your webcam. Or look down here. You can start a Google Plus Hangouts. So let's say we were to click on that. I'm doing that to give us a problem because I want you to see the error. Here we go. It is telling us, hey, we're currently in a Hangout in another window. It can only do one Hangout window at a time. So it says you have to exit that Hangout before you can join this one. Well, we were in the middle of the verification process. I didn't actually want to start a new one. So I'm simply going to close this tab or close this particular Hangout window, find the other window that was open, and look. In the blue, it says, hey, I'm verified. Check my account again. So go ahead and click on that. And it should change and say, good, you're all set to go. This video will be broadcast both to your Google Plus stream, which is named Alex Smith, and on your YouTube channel, also named Alex Smith. So we'll say, OK, I got it. And then because, again, it's the first time you have to go through the terms and conditions, Click on the checkbox down here where it says, I agree to all these terms. And then click the Continue button. And we're almost finished. What we're in now, right now, is called a Hangout on Air. If you'll note in the upper left corner, it says, we are currently off air. So it's not live. It's not broadcasting. You don't have to worry about that. You have a big red button. If you're ready to start broadcasting, you click on that. It gives you a 10-second countdown, and you're ready to go live on air. But all we were wanting to do was set up the account. And so that's good enough for now. I'm going to move over to the right corner, click again on the exit icon, which looks like it's hanging up a telephone. And it warns us in a Hangout on Air, it says, are you sure? Are you really sure you want to exit right now? Because it's going to stop. And we could say, oh, I didn't mean it, continue broadcast. But in this case, I really did mean it. So I'm going to end the broadcast. And it says the Hangout's now over. Go check your YouTube channel to see what you made. Well, we never actually did the broadcast. We never went live, so there's nothing there. So we are now properly connected 
in Google+. We've set up all of our different Hangout options, so we are good to go. So there you have it. Now you have everything you need to get set up and running with Google Plus Hangouts, at least technically. Now, as far as using Hangouts efficiently or using best practices with a tool, well, there's still a lot more to learn, but at least now you can get started. So experiment with using Google Plus Hangouts and find out for yourself if they really are all that many of us are saying that they can be. For me and my clients, we found them to be an extremely valuable tool for increasing engagement and interaction and improving communications. It really is like having your very own TV station or the ability to connect visually at a moment's notice with anyone around the globe. Well, that's truly a game changer. So if this has been valuable to you, this video, I'd like to ask you to share it with other people that could use the technology. Think of all who could gain benefit by using this fantastic communications tool personally or maybe for their business. And click on that link right up there. That one. That'll take you to various places depending on what's going on with my website stuff. There you can add comments, you can share your experiences, and if it's available, go ahead and leave a small donation if you find that this has truly been valuable to you. Remember, others can benefit from this valuable communication tool so please share the wealth.